Good morning and welcome to day 39 on the Arizona Trail. Last night was cold. It was wet. There was a lot of condensation on the inside of my tent and on my sleeping bag. <clears throat> I never got just terribly cold, but it was certainly cooler than it has been in a long time so I didn't know if it was gonna freeze or not so I went ahead and got my water filter and put it in a Ziploc bag and just put it inside my sleeping bag with me just in case so <clears throat> um but yeah beautiful morning but I just I got a late start I didn't start hiking until 8 15 I just told myself last night I wasn't gonna start hiking until the sun hit my tent so that's exactly what I did once the sun hit my tent I started to uh, getting my things together ate a little breakfast bar <clears throat> and uh pushing out uh, my achilles hurts it's not horrible right now but we'll we'll see what happens so that's got me it ha does have me concerned i know that's a that's a big tendon that runs through there and i know it's very difficult to tear or rupture a tendon but you know if i can't maintain my daily mileage which i did okay yesterday so Hopefully today will work out, but you know, if I'm unable to maintain my mileage, then I won't have a choice but to, to get off the trail. But that's uh, not a problem for right this second. Right now, I got miles to do. I got lunch to, <laughs> to hike towards, so let's get that done. Let's have a good morning, and we'll see you a little bit later down the trail. Yeah, there's not not just a lot to film right through here. It's uh, just uh, the big old pines and and the trail is nice and smooth. Ouch, ouch. Covered with uh, pine needles. I hit a branch back there. <laughs> there's not even flowers, there's hardly any grass. It's just pine needles. There's a decent water source. It doesn't look bad, but I think you'd get awful muddy trying to get down to that water. But if you had to do it, you just do it somehow. Take shoes off. Probably the easiest thing. Been doing a little road walking here for the last half hour or so. We're getting ready to come up to a descent, about a 500 foot descent, and then we got a about a thousand foot ascent. And then smooth sailing so i'm hoping because i got such a late start this morning i can make up some miles and at the moment my achilles feels good i mean that's noticeable but it is nothing like yesterday so that's good maybe we can bust out some miles all right let's do it so i made it down here to this uh creek bottom seasonal stream it says so that was the descent. Um, I just sat down on this rock, thousand foot climb to get up the other side. I don't mind the climb so much. I just put my head down and go. I feel like I'm doing something. And I feel like I've said that before. Sorry about that. And sorry about my bloody lip. I have chapstick, I just haven't been using it. So anyway, I'm getting ready to put a Pedialyte into my water here. This is exciting. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, that is, that's edge of your seat kind of stuff right there. All right, and then always carry your trash out. So I just stick it in my pocket and then when I stop for lunch, I'll put it in my bag that carries all the trash, so. That's that. I don't even shake it up because by the time I get to the top of the mountain, it will be, a, it will have been jostled around enough, so. I think when we get to the top, we might start thinking about lunch. I've got to lay my sleeping bag out in the sun because it got too much condensation on it last night. I need to air that out. I am not crawling into a wet sleeping bag because down doesn't do well when it's wet. It loses its 
loses its insulative properties unlike a uh, synthetic bag would so all right let's do this thing ready let's go okay i just got to this road junction it's 11 30 so i'm gonna go ahead and stop for lunch i've got my uh I've got some of my stuff drying, my little beanie, got a little damp. Got my sleeping bag laid out on this rock. Make sure it's all dry for tonight. And really everything else is okay. So the tent will be fine. Once I get set up, I'll open the doors and let it air out. And if there's any residual oh, condensation on the inside, I'll just wipe it off with the microfiber. So, all right, let's dig in, see what we're having for lunch. Okay, my first burrito is gonna be this Sriracha. I already made it and then I'll make a make a second one out of this sweet and spicy and I've got some might have this also sweet and salty mix nuts and M&Ms and whatnot so yep I'm just right here by this road one little uh, little utility car or SUV thing came by just a second ago and I waved at them and they kept on going so So I haven't seen anyone else on trail this morning. No one came by my tent before me or before I got up. So I know there's a crew ahead of me. They were in pine the day I was, they stayed, they left the next day. They left the day during the storm or when it was just kind of cloudy and whatnot. I'm sure they're the ones that's been slogging through the mud. So I'm sure they're a day ahead of me or or a half a day. But <clears throat> if I can get 15 miles today, I'll be pretty happy with that. I think I can. I think right now we're about mm, eight miles in. So really in three and a half hours, we've come about eight miles. The terrain's really good for the most part. So I hope to get into uh, Mormon Lake that morning not tomorrow, but the following morning. There's a little restaurant there. I might see if I can get some pancakes. And no, don't suggest my trail name be Pancake. Because that, that is not going to happen. Probably going to be Venom. Still liking that. And everyone keeps asking me what my trail name is. And I, I say, oh, I don't have one. But, but they think my normal name is pretty unique. So, Okay, I'm going to finish my lunch. And we'll move on down the trail here. Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> I guess that's the <clears throat> bad thing of being on of being on top of this rim is you don't you don't really get the views, the good open views. But it's certainly a change, and I, I like the flat <laughs> I like the flat terrain for sure. Just cruising along, there's a. In about two miles there's a trailhead and a and a bear box so someone said there's like eight gallons of public water so that's what i'm gunning for I have about a liter and a half left uh, and there might be some treats in there we'll see huh. i was just talking about the lack of views and now we come into this little open area there's a mountain way over there with snow on it I have no idea what that is. It's one of those nice walk-through gates. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Look at that. Didn't even get stuck. Those other ones further south were a lot more narrow than that one was. But anyway, okay, cruising on. Okay, we just made it down here to the Blue Ridge Campground. The trail goes right through it, but it hasn't opened up for the season. However, 
I was able to go ahead and dump my trash. I know it doesn't weigh a lot, but every little bit helps. So, unfortunately, the pit toilet still locked. Trust me, I checked. We were going to have a nice conversation in there. Okay, got the pack off my back for a few minutes and uh, time to push on. There's a trailhead up here with that bear box. It's one point, mm, three or four miles. So let's push on to that, see if there's any goodies and some fresh water. Sound like a plan? Okay, good. All right, see you at the bear box. Look at this tree. Look at this. I don't know what they call those exactly burls or something like that. I don't know, but that thing is a... Uh... That's massive. Huh. Interesting. It's kind of just a little open meadowy area, kind of, after that campground. At least so far. Now we're just back on the trail here, headed to the bear box. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like Twizzlers in there? <laughs> that would be a wonderful thing. Okay, we made it. Blue Ridge Trailhead, I think it was called. But look at this. Oh yeah. Bear box. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. All right. There's some public water. Public, public. Oh, yeah, a lot of public water. Uh, some bag of oats. Looks like the Oreos got destroyed in there. Some Sprite. Well, we'll take the water, so I'm going to get some of that. There's a road. There's a pickup sitting over there. Probably out hiking somewhere, so. Okay, I'm going to get this pack off my back and get a little water. Okay, I got my water all topped up. Doesn't really look like there's another reliable water source for about 14 to 18 miles, so obviously I'm not going to make it that far today. So I topped off four full liters in my 700 milliliter, and it's heavy. Ooh, I ain't carried that much water in a long time. So, uh, at least the terrain's good. So we got to cross this uh, Highway 87, which is what we're coming to right now. Yep. Uh, Okay, I gotta figure out which way to go here. I think it's this way. Maybe, yep, I see a gateway up there. So. Okay, let me get off here before I get hit by a car. <laughs> the videos would stop for sure then. Something fun about walking down the middle of the road. Oh, I think the gate's over there. Oh, my pack's so heavy. And my belly's so full of water. mask i don't need a mask i got one but you always gotta check you never know when you might find like a knee brace on the ground or something 
All right, it's time to push on. Let's do this. That's right. We've hiked 500 miles and I'd hike 500 more. Something like that. Was that song go? I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. I don't really know, but all I know is uh, we did that. We did that. 500 miles. Woo. That's a lot, but that just means this trip is uh, on the downhill slide, which is, which is sad. But there's still, there's still a lot of miles to go, so still a lot to see, a lot to do. But I definitely wanted to hit the 500 mile mark today. So, and I definitely would like to get four more miles. And that'll put us at uh, 20 miles for the day, so. Oh, <laughs> wait a second, wait. Just a second. Oh, <laughs> celebratory Mentos. Rush right out and get your Mentos and we'll celebrate together. I know I told you to do that already. Did you do it? You didn't, I knew it. All right, so I'm gonna crack these Mentos open and we're gonna head on down the trail, so. Thanks for following for 500 miles. I appreciate it. And we'll see you at the end. I hope. <laughs> Well, our trees got a little uh, sparse. <laughs> Came from pretty dense trees to kind of a sparse area. It probably won't last long, but it sure is weird right here. Just open and barren. All right, let's move on. We're almost to 20 miles for the day. Three miles left, I think. Hey there. Well, I made it to camp. So it's over there. I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm just sitting on this sitting on this rock getting ready to have dinner. My cranberry almond. Yeah, cranberry almond meal to go. I just got to where I just didn't want to cook anymore. So I um donated some of those freeze-dried meals to the hiker box at the laundromat i just at the end of the day i don't feel like kick cooking i just rather eat something simple and be done with it and and crawl in my tent and edit some videos so that's what i've done okay we are at mile 505 so we made it 21 miles today which is which is good that leaves 28.4 miles to get into uh help me here um mormon lake so my plan is to get up early hit the trail early and knock out most of that i don't want more than a i, I hope not about a five mile hike into town that morning and get my resupply box and i also bought uh, memory stick off Amazon that plugs directly into my phone so I can I guess I'm just gonna have to download everything onto that and then do a reset on my phone and see if that fixes the problem I don't know we'll see we'll play with it when I get there and then we'll be in the Flagstaff in another day and a half two days something like that so yeah it's a good day hit the 500 mile mark it's a beautiful evening up here I still have not seen another hiker yet, so I don't know. They're around. I just haven't seen them. What a day. What a day. All right, I'm going to eat my meal. 
And then uh, I'm gonna just walk around here just a little bit, not much. And then I'll be, my air pad was a little damp, so I got it laying on my tent, drying a little bit, but everything else is dried out. So good to go. All right, see you in a bit. Got my tent set up right there under this big alligator juniper. It's pretty cool. Nice little spot. Okay, well, I am in my tent, in my sleeping bag, getting ready to edit today's video. Um, nothing new to add. I walked around just a little bit. Um, really pretty little area. I halfway expected another hiker to come through. The, one of the big metal gates is right over there, so I'm, I'm sure I'll hear if someone comes through, but... Anyway, my plan is to get up bright and early and get on down the trail towards Mormon Lake. I, a minute ago, I was just laying here, and I looked up, and I thought, man, it looks like a hole in the roof of my tent. So I got up there, and I had a little toothpick that I poked through, and yeah, it went right through. So a little hole, but you get a little uh, deal of uh, tape made from this Dyneema when you buy the tent. So I just cut a little piece off and patched the hole, and that's that. So that little repair is done. <laughs> okay, I'm getting tired. I'm going to get this video finished, and I'm going to go to bed and get up early. Hope you all had a great day. I did, and I look forward to seeing you on the trail tomorrow morning. Good night.